Hello and welcome back. Just a quick look at the Vivo X-Fold 3 Pro. This is going to be the Chinese variant. So it is running Origin OS. And I am using this in the US on T-Mobile. So this is going to be a little bit more focused at the people that are looking to import a Chinese phone into the US and primarily on T-Mobile, although AT&T and Verizon will be similar. First thing is you're not going to have Google Play on here. In the system, there is the Play Services and Android Auto is pre-installed, but they're not accessible. You'll have to open up Settings and just covering that there's going to be some information here that I don't want to show, but go down to the very bottom, User and Accounts, and then you're going to see Google Basic Service Management. When you open that, you'll see a toggle to turn on. I don't know if that's going to be a requirement. I play it safe and I turn that on just in case there's any issues and I don't want to try and hunt that setting down later. From there, go into Vivo's App Store. Don't worry that this is all in Chinese. Just go right up to the top and actually type in Google Play Store. Install it from there. And this is the icon that you are looking for specifically. Once you have that, you are free to go and install all the services that you usually use. Now I talked about uh, T-Mobile. On the Vivo, it will have all of the LTE and 5G bands with the exception of band 71. That is the only band that you are going to be missing. It does support voice over LTE and Wi-Fi calling out of the box. And for me, both of those were already enabled and ready to go the moment I turned it on and put my SIM in. On AT&T, you are not going to have band 14, which is primarily used for the first responders. I think it's uh, first alert or whatever they call it. They are a little more particular about using devices that are not within their IMEI database. So you may or may not have luck using it. I know some people in different forums have said it's worked, they just didn't get 5G. Others have said that they blocked their service and they had to move the SIM card back to another older device and get restored from customer service. So uh, your mileage may vary there. One more thing to note here, with a Chinese ROM, there is no Wear OS support. So people using, uh, particularly like I like to use the Google Pixel Watch, it will not be supported or work on here. So far I have not found any tricks to get that watch to work. Another watch that I use is a OnePlus Watch 2R. With that, you download OHealth and you log in. Seems like everything's going to be nice and work for you, but then all of a sudden it will pop up and say device and phone not supported. Those coming and importing a Chinese ROM, you're also going to find that a lot of apps may not run in the background. So for me, some of my critical ones, of course you're going to have like Outlook or um, Gmail, things like that, but another important one for me is Dexcom. It's a continuous glucose monitor that is not officially supported. So you do have to sideload the application, the APK onto here, but it will not auto launch when you reboot the phone and it will not last in the background for very long. So you have to go into settings under battery, go to background power consumption manager, look for the app for this example, Dexcom G7 you want to change it to high background power usage that will allow it to run in the background and not be shut down. Something else you could do is when you go into settings, go up to the top and start typing in permission management. And you'll see that pops up here as the third one. So you hit that. This is going to give you a list of all your applications and what permissions they have. So uh, calendar, you can see that these are the things it's allowed and not allowed. If you go to all permissions, you'll be able to see other things like auto start, associated start, if it's allowed to go into a floating window or not. These are the things that you're going to want to change application by application. You can also go over to the permissions tab and make it a little bit easier. So you can go to auto start and go down and just 
hit the toggle for anyone that you want to auto start and go back if you want them to have floating windows you go in here and you can toggle which ones are allowed to have a floating window or not um, and so on so this is one area that you're going to want to search and add permissions for certain apps i appreciate you getting this far if there's any other settings that you'd like help with anything that you want me to compare against a honor magic v3 in their menu uh, do let me know in the comments and i will be happy to make a video and show you that.